Hello, today I'm at Lake Clinton. It's a nice warm evening. It's about six o'clock or so, and I am out carp fishing. Every time I come to this lake, I always see a bunch of carp swishing on top of the water. So I thought, you know, that looks like that would be a lot of fun. So I'm gonna go out and try to catch one. So that happens a lot. I don't know if you can tell the boat's moving a lot, but I'm in a main thoroughfare. It's about four feet deep here. And a lot of times when boat comes by and causes a big boat wake, it gets a fish excited. And when it does, they might they tend to bite sometime. I was just getting a few little nibbles on on this corn that I've got going in here. As these waves were coming by. And there he is. Let's see if we can keep him on there. That's a nice little harp. Been fishing with corn. I got another pole out with some catfish bait on it because when I was here yesterday, I caught catfish here. I can't be too aggressive with this fish because I've got six pound test line on this little ultralight fishing pole and he is more than six pounds. There he goes. Can you hear that drag going out? Oh, he's a nice one. See how tired we can get him. Yeah, boy, he's a fun fish. You see he's shooting under the boat there. He's not ready to come up yet, but I gotta be careful not to let this six pound test line hit the side of this boat or it'll fray it and pull it right off. Okay, he's getting close. Let's see if we can get him up and swim him into the net here. Yeah. There is more than a six pound carp, if I had to guess. That was fun. Let's see if I can get a hold of him, get him out of this net. One thing about carp is they sure are slimy fish. So I caught him on corn. I was fishing, I have a hook and and some corn that I was fishing out there. So there he is, nice fish, huh? Let's get this hook out of his mouth. What do you think about that, huh? All right, buddy, I bet you want some air, huh? Nice fish, huh? Okay. Let's get you back in the water so I can catch another one. All right. That sure was a fun fish to catch. Looks like this storm blowing through is going to cut our trip short a little bit. So I do want to share a tip with you today, though. And the tip I want to share is this. When you're out fishing on the open water, anything can happen. The weather can change in just an instant like this. The wind was blowing from the north all afternoon long and all of a sudden this storm blows up and now it's blowing from the south. And now that my anchor ropes aren't holding very well, I've got a lot of slack out in them, 
and they're still blowing me up on the shore, so it looks like it's time for us to get back to the boat ramp. So when you're out fishing, make sure you check the weather before you go and be very aware of what's going on around you so if it changes, you can react to it. Now that was a fun fishing trip. Unfortunately, it got cut short because a front came through and the wind picked up. And in just five minutes, it went from a nice, calm north wind, just gently blowing across enough to keep you from getting too hot, to 22 mile an hour south wind. It changed that quickly. You can see from this clip of sped up over the five minutes at how fast the waves went from being very calm to really, really choppy. So I had to come home early, but I didn't want to leave you without talking a little bit about how to catch carp. Now carp can be very hard to catch. Um, they're not very finicky on what they eat, but they're very spooky. So if you're noisy when you're trying to catch them, um, they'll go away. Or depending upon how you're trying to catch them, what kind of um, rig you have on your pole, it could make it more challenging too. Now the best way to catch a fish is to know when, how, and what it likes to eat. Now carp are cold-blooded. What that means is their internal body temperature is the same temperature as the water surrounding it. And in, in warm water, their metabolism speeds up. Cold water, their metabolism slows down. What that means is they like to eat more when the water is warm. Now Lake Clinton has a nuclear power plant on it. So where I was fishing, the water is 85 degrees. Um, on the other side of the lake, it gets all the way up to 90 degrees plus sometimes. They also prefer to eat several small meals a day instead of one or two large meals. Now carp have very highly developed sense of taste and smell. And they have tasters on their little tentacles that protrude out from underneath their mouth. And that's how they, they find their food, is they smell, a fit, smell the food, whether it's corn or a blood food like um, blood worms or, or a liver or a hurt fish or a dead fish even. They go up to it, they use these tentacles to taste it, to see if it's something they like. If it is something they like, then they suck it in, and then they start grinding it up with the big strong teeth they have in the back of their mouth. So when do you catch carp? Well, carp like to eat bugs, algae, worms, um, crustaceans, um, basically anything that they can get in their mouth, they might eat. So when those other animals are out, that's when carp tend to feed. Um, generally early morning, um, late evening, but remember, because they're cold-blooded animals and they feed several times throughout the day, you can catch them even during the day when other fish might not be biting. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the rig that I use to catch fish. Now, there's a couple ways to catch carp. Um, I use a rig that is on this tri-swivel. I'll hold it up here so you can see it. And basically what that is, is that's a swivel um, with three swivels protruding off of it. And on the one side, I have about 18 inches, and then I have a hook. And this particular hook that I was using is a number six. Um, but you can use them for whatever size carp that you can find. Now carp can grow to be 20, 30 pounds. So a bigger hook might work for them. On the other side, I have a shorter piece of line that goes out to a sinker. Now this is just a small sinker because I'm fishing in a lake that doesn't have any current. Um, so when I throw it out, it will go down to the bottom and stay there. You can use whatever size sinker um, works for the location that you're fishing in. Now the reason I use a swivel is because remember, carp taste their food with those tentacles. And when they're tasting it, they're rolling it around, mauling it, moving it around, and this will get all tangled up if you don't have something with a swivel on it. On the third side of the swivel, of course, goes to my fishing pole. Now, one of the little tricks that I use on this is I'm using six pound test line on my fishing pole. So, because carp tend to swim near rocks and other debris, I use 12 pound test line going to my hook. And going to the sinker, I like to use something smaller. So this is four pound test line. Generally, there's not any pressure on here, so four pound test line is plenty. But if you get a hold of a fish and they drag you into a bunch of rocks and the weight gets caught, the smaller piece of filament will break before the 12 pound or the six pound on my fishing pole and I won't lose the fish. So that's the rig I use. Another popular rig is called a hair rig. And what's different from that is it has a hook like this that you don't even bait. 
So you have the line go into a hook, but the line would continue on and have a loop on it, and this is where that you tie the bait to. The bait would be hanging out here, floating in the water. The carp would come up, taste it, taste it, taste it, taste it, yummy, that tastes good, and suck it in, and when it sucks it in, the hook follows it, and while it's chewing on it, eventually, the hook gets pulled into their mouth, and then you can catch the carp. So that's real popular in, in Europe, and it's gaining popular, popularity here in the United States. And so that's the rig I use. Um, I was using corn. Other baits that you can use are bread, um, bread crust they like. Um, boilies is a manufactured bait that some people like to try to make themselves and use, or you can buy at a bait store. Um, cheese works well. The, um, some people even like to use luncheon meat, and especially the exotic meats like seasoned pork would well, anything that has a really good taste. Now, carp aren't the smartest fish in the world, but they do have very good sense of taste and a very good memory. So the carp that I caught, I caught on corn. If I were to go out and that's the only carp in the lake and throw corn again, he's going to associate that hook with the corn and probably not bite it. So if you fish in the same location and you've used the same bait for a long time and then they quit biting, try something else. You might catch them when nobody else can. Well, that's some information on carp. I hope you found it helpful and I hope it will help you catch more fish.